Hey guys, my name is Emily and I'm gonna be one of your counselors this year at Camp Orlador. I have been asked to walk you guys through packing for camp, which as a former camper, I understand can be a super daunting experience, especially as a first time camper. So today I'm gonna to show you some of the things that I'm planning on packing for camp. And then I will also be walking you through the camp packing list in the parent pack. And we can talk about some tips for fitting all your stuff in your suitcases, especially if you fly to camp like I do. All right. First up is general wear for day-to-day -day camp. So we're not talking about the outdoor adventure trip just yet, we're just talking about camp. You're gonna wanna make sure and bring 12 t-shirts, um, some nothing too nice that you wouldn't mind getting dirty um, and or wet. This is my very first Camp Orlador shirt um, that I got my first year as a camper, so I will definitely be bringing this um, and just other shirts a little bit like it. Um, I'm also gonna be bringing some tank tops, but uh, like this tank top here, you're gonna wanna make sure that it still conforms to our modesty standards. So no spaghetti straps, no cleavage, just nice and appropriate. Uh, in terms of shirts, we will also be wearing white on Shabbat. So you don't have to dress up, you can just wear a white t-shirt if you want to, um, and some jeans. But if you do wanna dress up a little bit, like I do, um, you can feel free to bring some nicer things. Like I have this cute little top that I will be bringing um, because we will not be getting dirty on Shabbat um, when we dress up for Kablat Shabbat. So you don't have to worry about your nicer things getting dirty. I think too nice just in case, but um, if you wanna snazz it up a little bit on Shabbat, you can do that. I also have this uh, skirt that I will be wearing um, to make it nice and exciting. So, but again, you don't have to dress up if you don't want to, uh, but you do have the option to, if you want to, you will not be out of place. Just make sure that, uh, it is still within our modesty standards. Um, again, long pants or Shabbat if you want, or skirt, like the one that I just showed you. In terms of underwear, um, personally, I like to bring a couple extra just so that if you get in the position where, um, they get wet or dirty and you want to change, um, that way you have some extras and you don't have to worry about like reusing them or anything. Same goes for masks. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have more than enough masks, um, even if you don't need to use any of them because it's better to have more than enough, especially since they're so small and easy to pack. You're gonna to wanna to have more than enough and not have to be in the position of being faced with reusing them because that is just, it's just kinda of icky. Um, for pants, um, here are some shorts that I'm going to be bringing. They're a little wrinkly, but you can tell that they're a nice length, nothing too short. They also have some great pockets, which is a huge plus. Um, and uh, you're gonna wanna bring four pairs of those shorts. So I'm gonna bring a couple shorts like that. Um, I have a pair of cargo shorts, uh, some just jean shorts. Um, again, same as the shirts, stuff that you don't mind running around in and possibly getting dirty. We don't wanna have your fear about your clothes holding you back from having fun. So it is totally okay um, to bring something that's like maybe a little less nice than what you would what you would normally wear, just so you can have fun. Because about camp is about letting go, having fun. Um, in case it does get cold, uh, you're gonna wanna bring jeans and pants. I have a pair of jeans that I'll be bringing and then also um, I'll be taking some leggings just in case it's a colder day and I'll I wanna run around, but also still keep my legs warm. You're also gonna to wanna to bring a sweatshirt. We are gonna be spending a lot of time outside, like for instance, um, at the campfire or at Shacharit in the mornings. And so if it's a little chilly, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough layers so that you can keep warm um, when you need to. So it is gonna be hot. I'm worried about it being hot. I'm from Seattle and um, it did get to like, 100 degrees this year, but normally it never gets hot. Um, so, but you have to be careful about being too hot, but you also have to be careful about being too cold. So remember to bring pants and sweatshirts and warm things just in case. Uh, on a similar note, you're also gonna wanna bring a rain jacket and rain pants if you have it. I'm gonna be bringing rain pants um, because if it's raining, um, there's no guarantee that we're gonna be staying out of the weather because we still need to walk from the cabins to the dining hall, um, to whatever buildings we may be using for indoor activities, that kind of thing. And you just wanna have the option to not get soaked while we're in transit. Um, for pajamas, uh, nothing too fancy schmancy. I'm gonna just be bringing some old t-shirts and some shorts, so I don't overheat at night. Um, nothing too complicated there. 
Uh, so for shoes, shoes are very important because we're gonna be doing a lot of fun activities, but also you're gonna wanna make sure that you have proper support and that you're not gonna be slipping around. So these are the shoes that I'm gonna be bringing for camp. You can see they have like a nice tread, a nice sole, there's nothing too slick, you can really grip the ground. Um, so I would not recommend bringing Vans or Converse or like skater shoes. You're gonna wanna bring like tennis shoes, outdoor shoes, um, that have nice tread and grip so that when we're running around like wild um, You're not worried about like slipping and falling Okay, so that concludes the regular camp it and next we'll be talking about the outdoor adventure trip Okay on to the outdoor adventure trip. So I remember my first year as a camper. I was super terrified I had no idea what to bring or how to pack um, So I will be breaking down this list for you guys so you can pack with no worry um, Much like my first year as a camper this year. We will also be doing a canoeing trip. So um, This doesn't really change the gear that much. It just means you're gonna want to bring your swimsuit and some swim shoes um, but you're gonna want to have things like this shirt um, which is a nice kind of stretchy techy fabric. Um, I'm gonna have a shirt. This is long sleeve I'm also gonna be bringing a short sleeve shirt The reason for this is we don't want you bringing cotton because cotton just soaks up water and stays wet So if you have a cotton shirt a cotton sweatshirt cotton socks and they get wet whether that be from rain or river water It's going to be miserable for the rest of the trip and we don't want that to happen um, Because we really really enjoy our outdoor adventure trips and we want you guys to have fun as well so um, make sure that you're bringing nice things like a we have, I have these athletic shorts that I'll be bringing as well. Um, and you're gonna have this, you're gonna wanna have a fleece instead of a sweatshirt, just so that if it gets wet, your attire will be much more comfortable for you to wear on the camping trip um, than if you were wearing something that was not uh, as well adapted to water. So um, as far as the long pants go, you're gonna wanna make sure that um, there's something that you feel comfortable wearing if it's cold um, and something that you might want to wear to sleep. So in the past, I've always used my long pants as sleep clothes. Um, so I'll probably bring a pair of leggings. And then also, um, if I have room in my bag, probably a pair of sweatpants that I will also be bringing as actual pajamas. Um, just so if it's not wet, I can wear those and be nice and warm. Um, and my legs won't get mad at me because sometimes when I wear leggings for a really long time, it's not good. So you just want to have something that can double as both warmth and also sleep pants. Um, and for socks, you, they do not have to be specifically rag wool or smart wool. We just want them not to be cotton. So for instance, I'm just bringing this nice, I have a couple of nice pairs of thick uh, wool hiking socks that I'll be bringing um, for the canoeing trip. Typically I've found that most of the time I've just worn my swimsuit and uh, water shoes. But socks are really great to have around camp when it's cold at night, um, so you can keep your feet nice and warm. You're gonna wanna have your fleece and you're gonna wanna have a nice warm hat because again, we will be outside um, the whole time during the outdoor wilderness trip and you wanna make sure that you have all the necessary attire to keep yourself warm. So pants, fleece, and a nice hat to keep your head warm um, because keeping your head warm is really important. Um, when you're outside and it's cold. Okay, that concludes the outdoor adventure for clothing. So next we will get on to necessary supplies. Okay, here are some great things that you can bring to camp um, that really enhance your camp experience, but they are optional. So do not stress out if you don't have them. If you have a uh, talit to fill in or a kippa that you would like to bring, please feel free to do so. You will have plenty of opportunities to use them. Um, Shabbat services, uh, our daily morning shakrit services, that kind of thing. But if you don't have any, uh, if you don't really wanna bring yours to camp, that is totally fine. We have tallit for both guys and girls. Uh, we have tefillin, we have, and we have kibbutz. So don't worry if you don't feel comfortable or if you don't have, if you don't have them, we've got you covered. Uh, for a travel Bible, we would really recommend that you bring a travel Bible um, because at camp we love learning about and reflecting on God's word. So if you hear something in one of our lessons that you would like to think about, if you want to keep up with your daily devotional, uh, your daily devotional time, if you have a daily devotional time, also highly recommend that. Uh, 
remember that you won't have access to your phone. So if you rely on a buyable app, uh, you're gonna have to find another way to bring scripture with you to camp. So uh, we would really recommend a travel Bible. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy, so you don't have to worry about it too much, but just a little compact, beautiful package of God's word. Uh, this one is one that I am super excited about. Uh, if you have musical instruments, if you play an um, if you play an instrument, please bring your instrument to camp. Uh, I play viola. Uh, if you play violin, if you play guitar, if you play drums, if you play flute, we uh, we had a flautist at camp a while ago. Eliana Globus, love her. If you have your instrument, please bring it to camp. It's a great experience. Um, we love to sing and play and dance during, especially during our shakrit services. Uh, so campers are more than welcome to come and join in with whatever instruments they have. Fun fact, you can bring a violin or viola on a plane without having to check it underneath. Um, if you have more questions, you should definitely DM the uh, Camp Orlador account and uh, I could probably help you out with that. So if you have your musical instrument, don't be shy, bring it. We also have a talent show. So if you are a virtuoso, come shred for us, please. We would really love that. Um, playing, playing instruments at camp is just like one of my favorite things about camp. So if you wanna bring your instrument, you should, you should go and just absolutely do it. Uh, it will definitely be worth it. Um, other things, just small things. Uh, if you want to bring a baseball cap to keep the sun out of your eyes, sunglasses. Um, I'm going to be bringing some sandals um, to walk around in uh, if I don't feel like tennis shoes. Uh, and if you want to bring a camera, uh, because again, you won't have your phone and you want to take pictures of those everlasting memories that Camp or Lidor can provide, we also really recommend that. Uh, you will be getting a camp journal, but if you want to bring your own personal journal with a pen and pencil, um, that would be great if you want to reflect. Same thing for, uh, if you want to bring a book for quiet time, um, we don't have much of those, it's all fun all the time, but if you're really big into reading, feel free. Um, and if you want to write home, because there's lots to write home about, uh, you can bring letter writing materials and stamps and we can help you all out with that. Okay. That was the suggested stuff. So let's get to packing tips. Okay, on to our last segment, which is packing tips. So uh, if you'll be flying, obviously you will be checking a suitcase. Um, when you're packing it, it seems like you have a lot of stuff. And I remember my first year, I was really stressed about whether or not I could fit it all. You can. Uh, I would recommend putting in your really big stuff first, uh, like your sleeping bag and your pillow or blankets and sheets, and then packing around it with little stuff. Um, so as a general rule, whenever I pack, I like to roll things up really tight and then just kind of stuff socks and masks and underwear all around those big things like jeans and sweatshirts. That way, you can make sure that you can fit a lot more that way. Um, same thing goes packing tightly uh, in your carry-on and in your backpack. If you are bringing a musical instrument uh, like I am, you, my carry-on usually, I usually have my backpack and then my viola is my carry-on. Uh, so several times at camp, do not be above putting some clothing uh, in your instrument case. Just don't forget it's there uh, like I did later. So that's a great way to help save on space. And also if your case is slightly too big like mine, uh, sometimes I've had a case that's just a little too big for my instrument, helps keep your instrument from rattling around while you fly. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you remember to Pack all of your big uh, liquid items like your sunscreen and your bug spray. You're gonna wanna make sure that they're in your carry-on, or sorry, whoa. You wanna make sure that they're in your checked bag, not your carry-on, because again, you can't take any large liquid items through security. Um, other than that, you just wanna make sure you have your stuff accessible with you. Uh, and I guess, yeah, my really big piece of packing advice is just the big stuff in first, and then lots of little stuff in. Um, and even if it feels like you don't have room, you probably, probably, probably will have room. Just be, take a, take a deep breath, uh, be calm about it. Make sure to stuff all those little things in there. You can fit a lot of stuff in that way. Um, and be confident, I believe in you. Um, so 
I think that is everything. If you guys have more questions, totally feel free to reach out to our account at Camp Orlador, um, and our awesome account admins can either help you out themselves, put them in touch with you. I am more than happy to answer any of your guys' questions about camp in general or packing for camp. Uh, and I'm super excited to see you guys in just a few weeks. So until then, shalom.